Today, I'm giving away my Unity VR template that will help you start up new VR projects quicker, as well as set up a new foundation for my VR tutorials. Now, why did I create this template? Well, after completing about 15 tutorials, my original GitHub project was getting pretty bulky, and this should help out with some modularity. And so now when you watch a tutorial, you'll be able to download and import specific assets instead of having to download everything from all my tutorials. Hey, and now that I've said the word tutorial about 20 times, it's time for you to leave in the comments below what you might like to see as a tutorial. I would love to hear your ideas and opinions. As a bonus, I'll also teach you how to integrate this template into your Unity Hub so you can launch new projects that will be ready for VR development right out the box. Let's go over what is actually inside of this template. I want to point out what packages I've installed and, well, kicking things off, it's all the standard things you'd expect to have for VR development. So the XR plugin management, the XR interaction toolkit, Oculus XR plugin, and OpenXR. If you need a refresher on any of those things, you can watch my video on VR setup, which you can find a link below, or you can also find it on the video right now. Next, I want to go over the kind of organization of the scene. You'll see here that I have created these game objects, and they're essentially empty game objects, but I've just titled them, and it just allows us to organize the scene a little better. And as far as the assets go, I've also made different folders for things. Some are empty, but you know, the intention of organizing things as we add things or you add things to the project. And you'll see here that in some of these, I have FFOS, Fistful of Shrimp animations. That just helps you keep things separate of, you know, what I've put into the template from what you might put into the template, as well as I do have third party packages packages over here. And you'll notice I have the Kenny materials, which I'll provide a link below. Kenny is a great little organization that creates uh, some free assets for you to use. And it just allows us to make the scenes a little pretty, just like you see here. You know, we have the checkered blue floor in our table. And yeah, that is pretty much it for the organization of our assets, as well as the scene. And well, if you don't like this organization, feel free to change it up and do whatever makes you feel comfortable. This should be a template that you can just build off of. And going back into the scene, I want to point out how I've organized and set up the XR origin. So you'll see here, we still have the character controller from before. That's going to allow us to have this collider here so we don't run through objects. I also have the character controller HMD updater. And if you don't remember what that fixes, well, if you use the thumbstick to move around or you don't use it, it won't update the head mounted display. So if you're just walking around without using the thumbstick, you can actually separate the character controller collider from the head mounted display, and that's gonna allow players to clip through whatever they like. So it just kind of fixes a bug there. Expanding things out a little further in the XR origin, you'll see we have our direct interactors and under XR direct interactor, I have it set to only interact with things that are interactable or on the interactable ignore ray layer. And I also have attached the hand script. And this is from a previous tutorial that I did. And what this does will, it will initialize our hand prefab. And I'll show that off really quick because these aren't just any hand prefabs, but they also have colliders on them on these little fingertips and the palm and that'll allow you to push buttons if you'd like with those but going back to the script itself you can also hide hand on select by checking this and then it also will need the specific controller and which controller it's getting the inputs from and this is also responsible for animating the hands and if you don't remember or haven't gone over that tutorial i'll leave a link in the description below and the same kind of goes for our ray interactors except you know they're only set to interact with things that are the interactable layer. These will allow you to go out and grab things from far away. Pretty standard stuff. And you might be asking, hey, where's the teleport ray? Well, I do have this set up right now to only work with continuous movement just because that's what I'm used to as a default. But if you'd like to teleport, I have also made the prefabs for that. And if you go into interactors down here, you go to teleport, you'll see we have prefabs for our left and right teleport rays. So all you you'd have to do is drag that on to this right here and go into the locomotion manager 
turn off continuous movement and turn on the teleportation provider. That is a summary of everything that I've included in this template. As a bonus, I mentioned how I would teach you how to use this template as a launching off point from Unity Hub. That way you could start up any new project and it would be ready for VR development right out the box from Unity Hub. And well, I'm going to teach you that right now. Now to make custom templates for Unity Hub, first you have to find the project template folder within your Unity installation. And more specifically, I'm going to flash up a pathway on the screen because it can get a little complicated, but it's going to be something like uh, Unity Hub or Unity slash Hub slash Editor slash the version of Unity you have slash Editor Data Resources Package Manager project templates. And once you find all that, well, you will be greeted with something that looks like this. Now, once you open this up, we are going to need to open up one of these. We're actually going to be using this as the foundation for our new template within Unity Hub. And to open it up, it is a .tgz file. And we're going to need some kind of zip opener upper. And I like to use 7-zip because, well, it's free and I'm poor. So I'm going to provide a link to that in the description below. And if this is 7-zip, and I'm just going to open up a random one. How about this template 3D? and double click that and packages. And we will come to this page. And this page is just to confirm that we are in the right area. We have all of these things. I would just make sure things are matching here, but we're actually gonna back out and we are going to extract this out of here. So I'm just gonna drag this right into there. Now that we've extracted this, I'm gonna open up package and I am going to edit this JSON, package.json file. Now, the first thing that we want to change is the name here, but we want to keep the same convention so it's all lowercase, and we want to keep the beginning of this, but we can change this very tail end, and I'm just going to name this the VR Shrimp Template, but feel free to name it whatever you'd like. Coming down here, the display name, this is what's going to display in Unity Hub, so VR Shrimp Template again, and then, and the last thing that we want to change is the description here, and you know what? It has a pretty good description, but I'm just going to swap this out and say VR slash AR, and make sure to save and exit out. Next, we're going to play with the project data folder. So open that up. And essentially what we need to do is we need to replace all these files with the ones from the VR template project. So if we go here and we go to show and explore, it's going to take us to the spot where we need to go. And we just need to highlight the ones we need. So assets, library, packages, and project settings. And I'm paranoid. So what I like to do is delete all these and then copy and paste all these. And the last thing we need to do is go into project settings and we have to delete something called project version dot text. And if we don't do that, well, it's kind of going to break Unity Hub. So make sure you delete that. Cool. And with that deleted, we need to open up 7-zip again. And you know what? I'm going to run it as administrator because if you don't do that, it gets a little cranky. And now we just got to zip up this package file that we made and customized. Now, in order to zip this up, we're going to right click here, go to 7-zip, add to archive. And it's going to archive as a tar. I know it should be .tgz, but apparently .tgz is just the compressed format of tar. So go figure. And what we need to do in order to have the right name for this package.tar is we're going to have to go back to this package.json and copy over this name right here. Copy, and then we are going to paste it right into this and then press .tgz and press OK. All right, and with that, we should be able to come out of here, go back into all our packages. Yeah, delete this package. We don't really need that anymore. And last but not least, we also need to reset Unity Hub. All right, so bringing Unity Hub back up, we can go to New Project and make sure I have the right version and come down to here and you'll see it is a VR shrimp template. This is an empty VR AR project. And if I create a new project, Ooh, you'll see that we have everything here that we had previously. And if we go to Scenes, we have our Fistful of Shrimp scene. And yeah, we are set to develop for VR. And well, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this new template. I hope to see you in future tutorials and I appreciate you stopping by. Bye-bye.